All right, people. Uh, we're gonna be doing the review of the Phoenix Android uh, Tesla style unit. Um, like I promised, I promised you a review. I'm gonna review it now. I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you pros and cons of everything on the radio. My opinion, my channel, my opinion. If you like it, great. If you don't like it, well, you don't like it. Starting with the boot up screen, I changed the boot up screen, but that's gonna be in another video, quick video on how to replace that. I'm gonna do that later. I'm gonna put the factory launcher back on the radio to show you how fast it boot up with that uh, launcher compared to the Nova Launcher. The Nova Launcher makes the, the whole radio boot up a little bit uh, slower. I'm gonna show you the, the factory launcher that comes with it, and then I'm gonna switch to the Nova Launcher and show you the difference in boot up time. All right, I'm gonna show you the, the features that comes with the factory launcher and the pros and cons of it and then i'm gonna show you the novel launcher pros and cons of it so yeah let's let's get started just for the sake of the video i'm erasing everything all right i'm putting it back to stock uh i'm doing a factory reset i hope it works let's see what happens let's do the test again here we go in three, two, one, go. You see? Uh, I stopped it like a little bit later, but it was like 36, 36 seconds. When it comes from the factory, it will start up real real fast once you start doing stuff to it it will it will slow down a little bit so let's start with the way it looks right now so this is the way it comes with a split screen showing you you know the 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 speed and the rpms uh the car in the on the right is for the doors when you open and close them Right now I'm gonna close it and it will go away. Uh, you can see the RPM, the miles per hour, it really works. It's very precise on that. That's basically uh, what you're gonna see. What I don't like of the whole freaking display right here is this. This freaking Mustang right here is orange. My car is magnetic gray. Why the hell would I like a freaking orange Mustang on my display sucks so that's one of the reasons you want to install the novel launcher that, that way you get rid of that but if you get rid of it if you install the novel launcher you will get rid of the rpms and the miles per hour you will not be able to see that so that sucks because I like those the AC as long as you press anything related to the AC, it will come up, it will show up the, the control. You can do it here with this button, turn it on. This is for the compressor. So this right here, this right here is on right now, so it should turn off when I press it. It's now off. Press it back start the AC so yeah this is it's really neat if you're in any any of the apps and you want to go to the home screen just press the home screen home screen button or if you want to go back to one step back press the back the volume is in the bottom if you want to use the control on the unit some people don't like to be working uh, on the screen because it distracts a lot so you can use the controls on the on the steering wheel and they still work you see I'm using the controller 
of on the steering wheel and it works just fine this part right here in, on top it will not change once you install the novel launcher same thing with the AC controller is not gonna change that's basically the the layout for the home screen on on the factory settings all right pros and cons of this real quick pros well you have your your music right there hit play and you will hear the music right right away Yo, get it twisted. you have these two gauges right there that's pretty cool you have your your clock right there that's good so those are the pros of this whole thing and, oh and the AC controllers are really good I mean it's really easy nothing complicated now the cons of all this uh, display I don't like it <laughs> simple reasons uh, this part right here if you can see is a picture of a of a beautiful you know uh, bridge I don't like to have that in there because it's not my taste all right and this Mustang right there oh my god that that really pissed me off so that's the main reason why I changed the launcher is for the Mustang right there uh, if it was magnetic gray I'll be I'll be okay with that but no nah, it's, it's orange the control well it doesn't look too it's like too plain and too simple i mean it's very easy to read very easy to use but it's too simple so yeah it's better when it goes down and you just see this it looks better and then you have the radio it's a good radio it works uh, you can save different uh, radio stations by just pressing down here on each one and there you have it you, you're gonna you can record the, the radio station if you like uh, and, and it's the same thing with the AC controller you see the colors you know this is it's not the most attractive you know, things in the rate in this whole unit this is the music player this is the apps that you have installed on the on the unit then you have this thing that I'm not even gonna touch <laughs> then you have the Bluetooth uh, here you configure your your phone you have to configure your phone and then you hit the BT music Bluetooth music and here is where you can hear all the all the music on your phone here you have a video this sucks because right now it's playing something it's playing something but you can't see it why I have no freaking clue then you move to the left and you have your Explorer which is for the internet the cam it says right but you don't have a right camera but you have a back camera all right you have your settings uh, this I have no idea what it is I not I don't play with these things too much it doesn't even work uh, DVR if you have any but I don't have any so file manager this is where you find all the stuff on your on the tablet all right you can go by images music movies documents and apps then you have your auxiliaries I don't have any so that's nothing but yeah, it's pretty simple I mean if you want to go back you hit the back button there keep pressing until you get there or press the home button whatever now let's install the novel launcher and boot it again okay now we're gonna start it again all right so let's 
focus again on the watch. And three, two, one. Forty-five. So that's the main thing about it. It's about ten seconds slower when you install the Nova launcher. Other than that, it's pretty cool. Yeah, that's the background. Looks cleaner. All right, you can you can have all the apps you want in there. I just like a clean, you know, setup. Still, the the upper area, all everything on it will work. You hit the music here. And it will all right it will play the music it's the same screen doesn't change now here's here's the app list you can use this one or you can use this one right here this is the novel launcher app list this one is the radio you know factory app list the AC is the same thing it's the same screen again doesn't change if you you're one of those guys that want to have videos playing on the rail on, on yeah, you know while you're driving then you're gonna have to install a video player okay so you open it okay so I have some videos on the USB but, okay let's take this one This is the movie Cars. <laughs> I love the movie. But yeah, if you're one of those guys that want to watch movies while driving, yeah, you can do it, but you need a player. Uh, and this is a good one. So you can use any player you want. It's just my preference. Yeah, I know. Walt Disney, right? It's a good movie, damn it. Okay, so, yeah, if you have music, you just hit the BT music to play the music. If it's in Bluetooth here, it's not gonna work. That's for the phone. Uh, but here, just from your phone. All right, but the same thing. It will work with the, the controllers on the steering wheel. Yeah, basically that's it. I mean, I, I, I don't use too many stuff uh, on the radio all I care is about uh, my my phone so I can make a call uh, and not having my phone on my hands uh, and be able to listen to music all right uh, if you have a hotspot you can watch YouTube and whatever you want Netflix if you want to I don't care about watching Netflix on the car really what I did was installing an offline uh, GPS. Let me see if I can find it here. This, I installed this, yeah. So this is an, off, an offline uh, GPS. This is the, the GPS, all right? So because I don't have a, I don't have a hotspot, I need a an offline GPS. You have the four switches, just like the premium package. You have your hazards; they work. You have the traction control, and it works just fine. And you have your your steering feel; it works. Um, and then this button is the one that everybody gets confused about. People think that it's for the driving modes. It's not. This is for the modes on the radio. So if you hit it once, it will go to radio. Sorry. And remains. Next should be music. All right, the player. Next one is the video player that doesn't work. Next, the Bluetooth. <laughs> Yeah, that's what the mode switch do, does, all right? It's not for driving modes. What I don't really like is the fact that when I put the car on reverse, watch. 
during the day it's very very hard to see let me see if I can right there you can see it on video actually you can see I can see <laughs> better through the LCD on the camera than looking at it directly <laughs> during the day yeah it's it's a little bit hard so I can I, I need to you know get closer to the to the screen to, to look at it at night you have no problem at night or when the Sun is coming down and you don't have too much you know sunlight you can see perfect but during the day it's a little bit more difficult well, it's, it's not a big deal but yeah okay. you have this button right here on the corner that's for all your apps it will bring all your apps that are active and you can close them one by one it doesn't have a, a clear all button so you have to go one by one okay this one right here looks like an on off button if you press it it will mute the radio the other one shuts down the screen and if you press the screen anywhere it will turn on again the third one uh, this one will play with the brightness of the screen all right so if you press it it will turn the screen you know the brightness down and you keep pressing it will turn it you know a little bit brighter that's the brightest but yeah that this is the the background that I have I, I love the I love Deadpool so yeah that, that's why I have my background there the boot up is something that I'm gonna show you in the next video it's really easy but I'm gonna show you how to do it okay so this is a good uh, good unit I like it I have no I mean I have a couple complaints like you saw in the video it's not that big of a deal uh, what the what this unit can do I mean it's badass I mean it looks good trust me it looks really cool and really good and it calls a lot of attention if you're a car show guy you put this thing on you go to a car show and everybody is gonna be looking inside the car more than the outside it happens to me in the last couple car shows that I went the people were went crazy with this thing gathering together looking at inside like whoa man where'd you got that man, how you do that dude you, you just buy it I tell them where I got it I just refer them to your website so yeah you deal with them <laughs> But yeah, some people will complain about the the boot up time. Oh, it's 35 seconds, man. I mean, come on, man, that's too long. What the hell are you talking about, man? 35 seconds for real? Man, you you turn the car on, right? Turn your car on, and you start driving. You put it in first and start driving like a like a crazy ass son of a bitch. If you do that. You're dumb as all right? That's why people complain about, oh, this engine is broken, man. I broke the engine. Uh, you know, uh, I don't know what happened. Uh, this, this Ford Mustangs are a piece of shit. They're not a piece of shit. You're the dumbass because you're not supposed to drive the car without warming it up. You have to warm up the car. Let that oil run through all the paths and 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 lubricate the pistons it takes a you know a couple seconds let's say 35 seconds <laughs> then you have to put your seat belt on maybe you have to open the garage that garage will not open in a second that garage is gonna take you around five to I don't know maybe ten seconds I mean there's a lot of situations that will that will allow you to let the car warm up and for the radio to boot up no joking I mean it's not a it's not a big deal 35 seconds 45 seconds not bad I, for real so if you have any questions let me know in the comments below if you're interested in the unit I'm gonna put a link on the description 
so don't forget to subscribe if you want to watch one of my videos too you can do it and don't forget to like and share share the video so yeah thanks for watching and see you guys later take care